What up guys, Skymasters here. Welcome back to the channel. Ableton Advanced Community Users, if you woke up like me this morning, you had that Ableton Live beta email. And well, I, I don't get excited for them anymore because for the last couple of updates from uh, Ableton, I feel like they've been rolling out like side features that we should have got for free back in nine and 10 as main features for their newest updates for 200 and something dollars. I just think that's baffling. It's super baffling. I'm not mad that we are just now getting, uh, you know, that we, that we're, we're getting them. I'm, I'm mad that we should have had them already. You know, I mean, there's, there's sort of a difference and I do love Ableton, but that doesn't mean I have to like the company and every decision that they make. I love my kids, but I don't like every decision and everything that they do either. And sometimes I feel like they need to be put in their place. And well, a good, a good person, a uh, friend, consumer would do that, I would think. Um, but today we're just being conditioned and fluffed and everything else. Um, this is one of my favorite YouTubers for Ableton. Uh, probably my, my second or third favorite. I love Seed to Stage. We feature him on our uh, Facebook channel all the time. I tell people to come over here and listen to this guy all the time. Um, now I didn't take this update seriously until I seen his video and I was like, man, let's go check out what Seed to Stage is going to do over here. And I have to say, it's, I think it's one of his worst videos, not because he, he, he does the instrument wrong, but by how overly excited that he is about this. And I, I get it, man. If you want to be a YouTube star coming out and telling the truth, this is, this will right here will be a piss poor video. Nobody wants to hear, uh, that they're disappointed and, and, and you, know, you got the fanboys that are all going to come out and the other haters are going to come out like we've had this 10 years and that's my point, man. Why lie everything in, in the middle and do this garbage? Um, I, I just don't understand. He's going to talk about how he got up in the morning and he woke up and he found this uh, uh, email. And, uh, and, and yeah, man, uh, he wants to talk about the auto shift more than anything else. And throughout the video, I swear to you, it, it, he seems like he's never used one. And, and I got to say, that's that actually pretty impressive. So the amazing. algorithm that they've created for auto shift actually sounds pretty good. Let's go ahead and play this with the keys. The global scale. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, global scale is super important and it is super cool feature. But I've had a phone DAW that had global scale on it for a very, very long time, man. You know what I'm saying? And then plus we have scale on the sides. I mean, it's a little harder dragging things over, but I mean, gosh, we have a little bit more control than just one thing telling everything what's to do. You know what I'm saying? I think, I think having, uh, I mean, it's still more streamlined for that, but it isn't the, the cat's pajamas. And then, and, and, and if you're, I mean, is it worth that much for an update? Would we call that a major feature? Ah, oh, man, why does Ableton have to choose the weirdest things to come to the table late with? I just don't understand. And then people like this uh, 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 are just spitting it out. He's not he's saying how much it's he just wants you to go out and run and buy it. Why do we need to buy it when we have all these other third party plugins that have solved this issue for us already? See the stage. I just don't understand. We got an argument in this comment section, too. Um, because I just, I, I, I just don't believe him, man. I almost thought this was some kind of embargo release fluff piece, man. I was like, there's no way you're this excited. You've never done any of these tricks before with any of the tools. I mean, yes, it's cool that you can do them now. But <laughs> so now it's only it allowing a B note to pass through. So what's and cool about this is we can be creative. See, the stage has definitely done. I've watched videos where he's like done pitch correction with just Ableton stuff. Now it's not this quick. Um, but geez, is it 200 something or is it $180 to update to it worthy of this? And then what did we get for the last update too? It was like comping or something like that. You know, I mean, is that the most valuable things that we got out of these things? You know, you remember when Wavetable came? I mean, that was a day late and a dollar short. Everybody probably owned a serum or a pigments or something by then. I mean, once you have one of those and the main feature of the next update is Wavetable, then you're like, well, you know, it can it cost twice as much as, as, as serum and everything else. And this is going to be super expensive. Like if you want to update, this is one of the main features of it. It's expensive. Auburn Sounds Gorillion does the same thing and they have a free version. And the only thing that you don't get is this uh, 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 doing the, the fifths and the, uh, you know, doing this vocal doubling thing. But all you have to do is double your track and then change your, uh, uh, your pitch shift down here. This whole bottom section is free and it works. And it's pretty badass. Waves Tunes just uh, dropped their price on their uh, uh, real-time stuff. 
for $29. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can get the real expensive ones introductory price for the same price as Ableton's, <laughs> you know, with their update cost. Are they really main features to, to, to warrant another number? I mean, I mean, what, what, what are they going to do next? I'm trying to think of the most obvious thing that they could come out with next and then call it Ableton 13. Are they going to give us uh, a really good MIDI editor like FL Studios and then call it Ableton 13 and it's an update and it's going to cost $180? Now that sounds probably right. I like this guy's words right here. This is how we're going to end it. Ableton new features, underwhelming. Better MIDI. MIDI edit uh, transformation has always been garbage in there, man. And now they're charging as much as Logic. They should have the same MIDI editing feature. Ableton was never great at MIDI sequencing, but they've been... Uh, uh, students are seriously improved. Uh, the majority of media operations I see editing were all able to be done in Orchestrator, Pro Tools, Logic, Cubase, uh, all of which I could do in the early 90s. I agree, man. There's, a, there's this, the MIDI editing is just absolutely garbage. Stay in key. This was already available in the scale MIDI device, but okay, that's what I just said too, man. Um, improved modulation LFO. Why is this, is this max for live stuff? And we haven't even integrated a real thing in there. It's just Ah, you know what I'm saying? It's just blah, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, anything that does operations periodically at randomized parameters, particularly with max, fills up the undo buffer. Oh, man. Yeah, dude, you need to put that random stuff on and then you go to undo. It's like, okay, it's it's almost pointless. I know what he's talking about. I, it doesn't bother me as much as him, maybe, but <laughs> dude, I get it, dude. Uh, collect a limited number. Doesn't seem to be changing. Instead, there's now a built-in categorization to find base, although how that works with more abstract sounds is very questionable. Um, yeah, dude, <clears throat> I tell you, um, no changes in the number of tracks, as specifically returns, no change in audio routing, still using the sidechain hacks. Mixer on arrangement screen, wow, so innovative. Not like anyone has been asking that for years. And strictly an opinion, but I think the default themes keep getting worse and worse. <laughs> yeah, dude, the the UI was probably the hardest thing for me coming from FL Studios and things like that. The UI was just so bland and very uh, German and strictly all the information that you need and this cut and dry, nothing extra, you know. Uh, and that was really weird to get used to, but I kind of like it and respect it now but man it is kind of not fun to learn and not fun to, to to look at man so anyway man i just thought that the new update wasn't that exciting i don't think it's worth all that much money i don't think the last two updates were worth all that much money man so yeah man i i don't know what to tell you this was a a, a super weird day for me and i thought this was a weird video I got into arguments with him down in here, um, you know, like it's valuable. Like it's, it was more valuable 10 years ago when it was relevant. You know, if Ableton sold milk, they were going to sell you an empty jug at the each, at, at the each uh, up, update release and then give you free milk updates until your jug was full. And these guys, and he had the audacity, see the stage had the audacity to call these things free. Pretty sure you paid for them at the very beginning of the release without even knowing what you were getting. You new consumerisms are fools. And then for him to fluff piece you like this and to groom you, um, God, he's got to be getting paid or uh, something. I don't think he is uh, uh, from Ableton. But, man, I lost a lot of respect for Seed to Stage, man. I still love you, guy. I'm still going to feature you in our groups. You still have great stuff. But I think now you're just doing fluff pieces and you're really grooming people at this point, man. And I don't, I don't believe for one second that you're that excited about it. And then your, your, your false reactions on your video are just lame. I think they're lame, man. I think you do better when you be real and stuff like that. I do get it that it doesn't make a nice video, but damn, bro. I think you could have done it, man. I don't, I don't think this is, I think you could have came out and just told the truth. You're super excited about overpaying for something that everybody else has had for a long, long time. And you're trying to tell everybody and convince them that this is value. Fuck out of here. And with that, I'll see you guys later. Hit that like and subscribe.